Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. These guys are really thinking that we are dumb. And I think for a good reason. Uh, for good reasons, because they got away with so many that I think they pushed the envelope further. What could happen? And when I read this morning, the headline of an article stating that President Biden visited in a very unannounced and secret way Kiev, Ukraine, I started laughing. First, I knew that Biden would not go over there unannounced. That is, Putin would not know, Zelensky would not know, and many, many other secret services intelligence uh, services um, and I will tell you why we are told every day that Vladimir Putin is almost as bad as or evil as Adolf Hitler we're told that he is irrational he is a bloodthirsty dictator he is a war criminal and all, and all that now would you expose yourself as the biggest sponsor of Putin's enemy, which is Ukraine? And Putin is not an idiot. He knows that uh, he's not fighting Ukraine. He's fighting everybody else that is not involved, but they fight with Ukrainian soldiers on Ukrainian territory. So this Biden, comes to Kiev unannounced. I don't I never believed that a second for a second. I knew that Biden Biden, the White House, whoever, informed the Russians we're coming. Other intelligence services knew about it. And uh, it makes me wonder, are these guys spoken? Are these guys playing a game here and uh, let us be fooled as we usually are I mean if you portray Putin as being that kind of evil and you tell Putin which would have known anyway hey I'm coming to Kiev don't shoot me down what is this he comes, Biden lands to Kiev, no attacks, no rockets, no missiles, nothing. What's going on here? Why would the White House trust Putin? From this, the, from this, the whole thing starts. How can you trust that guy? Didn't we hear every day? Since what? The February 24th of 2022. Putin is a liar. Putin should not be trusted. Putin this, this, did this, did that. And all of a sudden, Biden comes like a sitting duck, exactly like a sit sitting duck, in Kiev, I don't know, 200 kilometers from the border with Russia. Now, Russia can send one Kinzal if they really want it. Just to show that they are really evil. Now, um, you can say, well, you know, these guys with uh, half and puff and very, uh, you know, patriotic when they don't have to be patriotic. There's a problem. These are not patriotic when they have to be. When they have to be patriotic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we, we love uh, all this. Yes, equity, uh, diversity and inclusion. Yes, 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 we all love that. But when it's about real, uh, you know, uh, patriotism, they are keep their mouth shut. So some of these people say <laughs> Putin was afraid because if he would have dared to hit you know, Biden, he would have been toast. Okay, this is what idiots think. And I'll tell you why. How would Putin be toast? Would the United States attack Russia? How? Conventional? They would use nuclear weapons and we're all toast. 
oh, would they uh, start a nuclear war with Russia? And uh, Russia would uh, retaliate and we would be all toast. So what exactly were they scared of? So if you're not scared and you know that that guy is not going to react, why do you inform him? Oh, accidents? Hmm, like the other guys did not know. Do you think that if, let's say, uh, right now, let's say Biden's plane would have been, I don't know, shot down by who knows who, I don't know, an S-300 from, I don't know, Lviv, or maybe from Krakow or something like this. Do you think that they would not have blamed Putin for that? 100%. So then Putin had kind of like either or, if the guy shot, gets shot down, it's going to be me. If he's not going to go shot, shot is not, nobody going to hit him. What's going to be? Me. I'm still the bad guy. My point is, how come you let this evil guy and you trust the evil guy that he's not going to shoot you down? Well, let me show you a few articles here. And the first article here is from, obviously, this morning at 6.55 a.m. The new voice of Ukraine, Zelensky, Biden meet in Kiev amid unannounced visit. This is the first article I read this morning. And I said, no, everybody knew. I mean, he would not take a chance with that and probably they let the Russians know. And, <laughs> and then I read this article right here from the same date. And it says, Biden's plaque unveiled on the walk of the brave in Kiev. And here they are. Joe Biden. And I was like, so how come what was this unannounced? And what a coincidence, they had it ready for him. So I knew immediately this is bullshit right here. So this was unveiled, whatever. Let's move on. And then we find out this. CBS News, US alerted Russia to Biden's secret. <laughs> Ukraine visit ahead of time. It can't be secret if someone knows already here. All right. And it says here that uh, the U.S. notified Russia of President Biden's secret visit to Ukraine hours before his departure in an attempt to avoid sparking conflict when he was in Kiev. That means don't shoot. He's coming. That was sparking conflict. That means keep your weapons down. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters, what are you talking about? And said, we did notify the Russians that President Biden would be traveling to Kiev. End quote. Sullivan told CBS News. And I'm quoting, we did so some hours before his departure for the confliction purposes. And because of the sensitive nature of those communications, I won't get blah, 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 blah. Why? What if Putin wanted to, because he's an evil guy, blow him up? You, would you let, uh, what's his name, the woodchuck know that? The North Korean guy, Kim Jong-un, and then this one. Moscow downplays significance of Biden visit to Kiev. And this is what the Russians are saying. They say, uh, they say, they think that actually who, who's in control of, uh, of Ukraine is Biden and the United States of America. This is what they say. Well, uh, according to this uh, article. So in, in this article, they uh, claim that uh, this is proof that actually is a fight between the West, the United States and Russia. Well, I don't know. That's no, that's no, no secret, I think, who really still thinks that this is Ukraine and we're just uh, good guys here helping Ukraine. I don't know. They need to, I don't know, get born again 50 more times to catch up in the evolution uh, scale. Otherwise, I don't know what to tell them. Uh, it, it's just um, uh, in the plain view. You inform your criminal adversary that you come close to him and he can shoot you. He was at, at Putin's whim. If Putin wanted, he would have uh, shoot. Um, he would have shot um, Biden's uh, airplane down or planes. It didn't matter how many they came. Five Kinzals would have done the job and the guys would not uh, be able to defend against it. From Belarus, let's say, and um, uh, MiG-31. Now, um, for me, I'm sorry, but uh, this, this and uh, the way these guys are controlling the war, oops, 
which is, uh, you know, um, oh, you, you can't shoot over there, you don't do this, you don't do that. Uh, this is uh, uh, another, for me, reason to, to have great doubts that this war is the way they tell us it is. It's, it's Putin tells the Israeli Prime Minister uh, Bennett, when Bennett visits, uh, visited uh, Moscow in February, Hey, Putin, Putin, don't kill our fellow uh, kosher guy over there, uh, Zelensky, don't do it. I mean, there's no, no, there's no uh, secret that Zelensky is Jewish, right? Uh, Bennett from Israel comes and tells, don't kill, uh, d please don't kill uh, Zelensky. I'm not gonna kill the mofo man, leave me alone. Okay, but, uh, promise me, I'm, I'm not gonna kill the guy. Hey, uh, but uh, he said he's not gonna kill you. Are you sure? Are you sure? That's how the conversation was. It's in the media. And then he came out, Zelensky, I'm not afraid, I'm not scared. Psst. Yeah, after you got the promise from the guy. So, uh, all this, how can you deal with a criminal? You trust a criminal? And Zelensky is very, very, with his chest out and showing his uh, whatever, uh, that he's not afraid and he's all over the place, being certain that that guy is not going to assassinate, uh, assassinate him. What is this? And they tell me is there, is the end of the world and this is the fifth world war and Putin must go and Putin... No, my, my friends, uh, for me this was like the, the last drop uh, to be going to 99%. That's where I'm at right now. Um, Alright, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.